In this quick tip, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite local adjustment tools, which is the radial mask. The radial mask is great to locally adjust anything that is remotely circular or elliptical. Suppose, for example, that I want to increase the texture on these peppers. You might want to brush the effect in with a brush, but since this area is more or less elliptical, you might just as well do it with the radial mask. So, I'll just set my settings in the detail enhancer by increasing the medium details to about 45 for this image, and then I'll click on edit mask and choose radial mask. Now I'm dragging a circle, but when I release, I can adjust these handles and put the circle into an ellipse. I can even rotate it if I want to. Now, up until now, I'm actually achieving the inverse of what I wanted, but by clicking on invert, I can have the effect applied to just the peppers. Now, what if I wanted to use the detail enhancer again, maybe with different settings on a different part of the image? Well, that's entirely possible by creating a new adjustment layer. Now, I want to sharpen the faces of these two men, so again, as they are very elliptical, I'll choose the radial mask. I'll set my settings first and then apply a mask. As we saw, I can make it a little bit more elliptical and I also need to invert it to have it affect the inside of the ellipse. Now I can click on done and here's the interesting part. I can click on edit mask again and add the second radial mask on top of the second person's face and also invert that one. As you can see, I have now added two radial masks to the same image. Whenever you have a local adjustment to do, always think if you cannot do it quickly with a radial mask because it's a real time saver.